Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night to take a leak? But when you get to the John, you just want to soil yourself because the idea of going through such a mundane, repetitive task just makes your stomach turn. True inspiration doesn't just come from anything. And those who say it can, they don't have the artistic drive to see the faults of their own creations. However, I am grateful for this misconception because, because it weeds out all the amateurs in this already oversaturated market. Here's the secret. Nothing's original. We all have memories, illusions of better times past. What was her name? You know what? Why does it even matter? It's just, it's just another illusion of the pursuit of love. And love is nothing. Nothing but your psyche's way of justifying a lustful pursuit of something instead of the sinful reality that people follow society into moral degradation. But just because I don't find the value in the failings of some misguided interaction doesn't mean some poor sap won't waste his money to live vicariously through my words. I have so many great ideas, but the problem is finding the time to put it all down on paper. They say the best things take time, but why does it have to take so much time? Along with going out with friends, getting to class, and keeping up with public image, how am I expected to truly express myself? I mean, it's not like I'm gonna create some beautiful masterpiece all on my own. That's what the teachers are there for, right? I'm gonna be doing this for the rest of my life, and I'm gonna be good at it one day when I get time to do it but only whenever I get paid to do so. Love. What else could be more powerful? What else could be more to us? We're unique in that we feel. We hope. Why wouldn't we love? That's what makes us human. That's what makes us truly alive. Like I said, inspiration can come from anywhere. Dear John. Dear Doe. I feel nothing but overwhelming passion and enthusiasm for what is about to come. 
I feel nothing. 